Hello and welcome back to another housing video for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at an indoors, uh, well it's the Indoor Oriental Waterfall, which is actually a level 86 goldsmithing recipe as you can see on screen here. It uses 8 cut stone, 3 anite whetstone, 3 ambrosia water, 3 growth formula kappa, along with 32 wind and fire crystals each. As long, uh, along with obviously having a recommended craftsmanship of 2590 or above, uh, this level 86 recipe is sure to be quite a stunner. I've been looking forward to this one. I saw little previews of this, but I haven't actually seen it in the game yet. Um, this is a, a, an actual water feature, so we have the ambient sound effects turned up quite a bit, as I presume the water is going to be on the ambience track more than anything else. It does say on the actual item, it says a fabulous water feature that will bless any space with a touch of Far Eastern flair. Very nice. Um, so let's bring up the housing menu and plop this down. I have high hopes for this one. Uh, where is the housing menu? There it is. Beep, boop. And we've got snap to grid on, but that's fine. We'll plop that there. Oh, wow, this thing is huge, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely enormous. And I love the fact that... Uh, the water is, is so loud as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. So let's have a look um, up close with this bad boy then. Wow. Okay. This is a lot bigger than I anticipated. You know, a lot taller as well, which is a really good thing. You don't want a small water feature, especially when you're filling an entire slot with this. You know, a slot in housing is, is a huge thing, in my personal opinion, especially when... You know, you're limited so drastically. I do like the water effect. It looks realistic enough. I'm not too sure about the gravel at the bottom where the water falls into. A little, little bit low resolution. The flowers and the plants look pretty good. I'm sure they'd be a little bit pixelated up close. We'll have a look in a moment. At the back, though, I'm very impressed that this isn't just a cutoff. A lot of housing items do tend to cut off at the back and just be a flat surface, but it's nice that you could have this approach from any angle and it would look good. Uh, even like that, if you just wanted a big stone sort of brick or something. I don't know. But it looks quite nice. And I do like the, the fact that there's little rock, rock outcroppings with the flowers growing out of. It looks quite natural. And you know the best bit about this as well is that the sort of green algae that's been sort of dyed onto the bit underneath where the water touches that is a bit of realism i didn't expect from a housing item like this very very nice and of course if you wanted to you could create some kind of elaborate water dispensing pool or something above this so it looks like it's actually connected or something very very nice let's have a look in terms of scale against my character then so i am the lowest level in terms of height uh, Makote female in the game so as you can see you can't quite go under the water completely there is like a collision wall there but uh, it's quite a big item quite a big item indeed and it does look quite large even in this large property as suspected though a lot of the leaves look a little bit pixelated up close um, but you're not really going to see them that close really and the gravel kind of does look quite pixelated even from a fair distance away what you could do then is perhaps glitch something into the bottom then some other rocks or other things that you could place on the ground level so that's not really much of an issue you could cover that up quite easily this could be a really nice addition to a foresty look i mean we already have the verdant partitions over there make like a, a flower sort of carpet bottom maybe some grass or something this is really nice it kind of makes me want to get more than one of these or maybe even have a much bigger version of it but that's that i'm always going to be looking for a bigger item to fill a slot but i think this one is quite a nice addition and for such a you know fairly cheap craft at level 86 goldsmith you really can't go wrong can you anyway let me know if you've got this one yet if you plan to get this one um or if you're currently making lots of gill off of this on the market board as i presume a lot of people will be anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day more videos like this and many other types of video covering everything from endwalker when i do eventually get the time to do it of course time is a limited factor that you know not not everybody can um, sort of deal out uh for videos and things like this especially this time of year with uh, christmas so i do apologize for having a bit of a hiatus and a bit of a break for a few days but um i am should well i should be fully back now all things considered touch wood and we'll cover everything else in endwalker so much love 
Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.